Welcome back to Video Games on the Internet. Today is a special episode because we're playing a game for promotion that I've actually wrestled for. We're going back to 2008 and playing TNA Impact. Now, before we get started, we're gonna have a surprise guest. In fact, we are gonna surprise our guest. We're calling up a very important member of Impact Wrestling. We're calling up Scott Demore. Hello, Scott, it's Trent Gibson. How are you doing? It's who? I thought I bought you. Well, yes, you did, Scott, but I got a new phone number. Unrelated, I swear. I think I've made my thoughts pretty clear to you repeatedly. So, but if I haven't, let's be extremely clear. Don't call me, don't tweet at me, don't DM me. No DMs. Nothing. I don't want to hear from you. Really, drive off a cliff. That wouldn't bother me at all. I, uh, I, th I think he was busy. All right, let's get started with the video package here. This game came out in 2008. It was developed by Midway Studios Los Angeles. They did games like Wu-Tang Shaolin style in the ever-infamous Backyard Wrestling 1 and 2, so... There's quite the lineage here already. It was a really exciting time to be a fan. I remember they did a pay-per-view in Oshawa. I can't remember which one it was, but me and a bunch of friends went. We had a great time. It's the instant classic and the Samoan submission machine on the same page. Now for the match types, they don't have a lot here. Standard, tag team, free-for-all, ultimate X, which of course is a favorite. Submission match. There's no hardcore match you'll see here because basically every match is a hardcore match. There's just chairs around the ring that you could use in any stipulation. Um, there's no King of the Mountain, which I'm actually a big fan of the King of the Mountain match, so I wish it was here. But let's go for it. Ultimate X. Why not pick the hardest game mode when I'm trying to talk and play at the same time? All right, who do we got here? AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, Kurt Angle. I don't know if you know this about me, Kurt Angle, he's one of my all-time favorites. Uh, I did meet him one time. One thing that struck me about Kurt Angle, he's a lot like the Michael Keaton Batman. You know how he had the big rubber suit when he turns? It's a whole body turn. Uh, we've got Stinger, of course, one of my all-time favorites. Christian, Booker T. Now, Booker T in this game from 2008 looks a lot better than he did in WWE 2K12 years later. I've got a good Hernandez and Homicide story. Maybe I should pick Hernandez so I can tell it. Okay, who else do they have here? Rhino. Shark Boy, Robert Roode, Scott Steiner, Alex Shelley, Christopher Daniels, of course, James Storm, Chris Sabin, Brother Devon, Brother Ray. I don't understand how Jeff Jarrett isn't in the base game here. Same with uh, Kevin Nash. In this game, Kevin Nash, for some reason, is only wearing a polo and jeans. He doesn't have wrestling attire. This is a guy who's worn the same attire his whole career. I think we gotta go with AJ Styles if it's Ultimate X. We're gonna do this one in Orlando. Representing one half of the Latin American exchange, this is Hernandez! And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing from Gainesville, Georgia, he is TNA Wrestling's Triple Crown winner, the Phenomenal. Before we get into this match here, hit subscribe. If you do already, please share this video. You'd be helping out a guy who's had mild to medium successes in the wrestling business, and it would go a long way. All right, here we go. Hernandez versus AJ Styles, Ultimate X. AJ's going high risk already. Oh my lord. That actually reminds me. Uh, this game has a lot of similarities to WWE All-Stars, because uh, it's actually made by the same team. So you're going to see a lot of that here. I'm getting whooped by AJ already. There we go. Work the knees. I'm beating his ass down. One thing that's a little bit cheese in this game, you got someone down, you could really stomp the hell out of them. They just let it keep going. But if you're on the offense, it's great for you. All right, let me tell my Homicide and Hernandez story. So I did Impact Wrestling a couple years ago. I had a tag team title match against Santana and Ortiz. Uh, and after the event, everyone wants to go out and get food, right? Uh, but I'm thinking, why don't we get some drinks going? We can talk about the show and all that. But no one's biting on that idea. So out of the whole group, the whole roster, the two people that bite on it are Homicide and Hernandez, you know, the two scariest guys on the crew. 
And I don't really know them at all, really. Just uh, I'm friends with Santana and Ortiz, so I guess I had a bit of a vouch situation going on there. But other than that, they don't really know me. And the hilarious thing was that it's in Toronto, and in this area of town, there was just like small, quiet bars. And it's just me, Homicide and Hernandez, walking into these places, bar hopping. And everywhere we went, you know, people were wondering, how the hell do these three guys know each other? This game's actually better than I remembered it to be. Uh, when it came out, I only rented it, I didn't buy it, but it's a lot more playable than I remember. A lot of the guys share a lot of the same moves, which isn't great, but uh, other than that, it's, it's pretty fun. They actually did plan a sequel for this game. Uh, they announced it in like 2009, I think it was, and uh, it all fell apart when Time Warner bought Midway Games, so this is just another example of Time Warner ruining the wrestling business for us. All right, let's swing this thing, see what it's all about. Look at that, a little 360 chair shot. One thing I wish I had in my life, uh, Mike Tenay and Don West, I wish they just followed me around and commentated on my day-to-day -day activities because they were the ultimate hype men. They were cheering the show, they were high-fiving, they were celebrating, they loved TNA. Samoa Joe will take on Big Papa Pump, Scott Steiner, oh, right here in this ring! One thing I didn't know about Don West till recently was that Will Ferrell played him on SNL many times uh, because Don West used to be on the shopping network and Will Ferrell did a parody of that like uh, at least a couple times on SNL. All right, we're back here at Shop at Home Network. Don West here with my partner, Eddie Lewis. Here we go. Can we get a border toss? Oh no. I didn't even know he had a special. Styles Clash. Is it going for a pin? Oh, that's the worst in wrestling games when your move has a pin on it in a no-pin match. For these episodes, I usually play games on the PCSX2 emulator, uh, but I tried to do the TNA game on there and just totally blew up my machine, so I had to go up to the damn fourth and I found the TNA game at a pawn shop, but I could only get the PS2 version. It didn't have the PS3 version, and I know, I can hear it now, you're already saying. PS3 version's way better. And you're right, I've seen the videos. When you're right, you're right. One thing that uh, Hernandez told me, which makes so much sense now, is he was a big Mike Awesome fan. If you look at his moves, he did borrow a lot from Mike Awesome, which is hilarious. I don't know if I was supposed to say that. Gotta set it up. There we go, Looks, it's kinda looking like a choke slam, but there we are. Set it up. Just heave the man. Oh my god, it went out of the ring. Looks like he's got the border toss. He's got him up. And he sends it right on Cincy with the border toss. AJ's back to his feet. Oh, this is gonna be good. Here we go. It's a race. Man's kicking the hell out of me. Look at this, like being back on the monkey bars. Oh no. Not this way. Not this way. Not like this. After a board toss out of the ring, I can't lose this match. Come on. Come on. There we go. Kick his ass. It's gonna be really hard to do this and talk at the same time, so bear with me. Come on, here we go. For the win. Let's do it. Yes. Yes. They gave me that last one there. And that one. How many do you gotta do? Yes! You might have thought it was speed and agility that it takes to win that match, but no, it's just pure power. Can he do it? Can he take down the X? Can he get a title shot for the Latin American Exchange? They're gonna do it! And do it in! It's done it! All right, that's gonna do it for this episode. It was fun doing a little bit of a flashback on TNA Wrestling. Now for the next episode, I'm gonna let you choose if there's anybody out there still watching at this point, I'm gonna let you choose which is the next game we play. It's either gonna be ECW Hardcore Revolution or WWE Legends of WrestleMania. Now I dislike both of these games very much, so my future is in your hands. Yeah! We'll take it. Yeah. TNA Impact, as seen on Spike, wrestling so real you feel pain.